In mathematics, the nth root of a number x, where n is a positive integer, is a number r which, when raised to the power n yields x where n is the degree of the root. A root of degree 2 is called a square root and a root of degree 3, a cube root. Roots of higher degree are referred by using ordinal numbers, as in 4th root, 20th root, etc. For example, 2 is a square root of 4, since 22 equals 4. Minus 2 is also a square root of 4, since 2 equals 4. A real number or complex number has on roots of degree n. While the roots of 0 are not distinct, the nnth roots of any other real or complex number are all distinct. If n is even in x is real and positive, one of its nth roots is positive, one is negative, and the rest are complex but not real. If n is even in x is real and negative, none of the nth roots is real. If n is odd and x is real, one nth root is real and has the same sign as x, while the other roots are not real. Finally, if x is not real, then none of its nth roots is real. Roots are usually written in using the radical symbol or radix or, with or denoting the square root, denoting the cube root, denoting the fourth root, and so on. In the expression, n is called the index, is the radical sign or radix, and x is called the radicand. Since the radical symbol denotes a function, when a number is presented under the radical symbol it must return only one result. So a non-negative real root, called the principal nth root, is preferred rather than others, if the only real root is negative. As for the cube root of minus 8, again the real root is considered the principal root. An unresolved root, especially one using the radical symbol, is often referred to as a third or a radical. Any expression containing a radical, whether it is a square root, a cube root, or a higher root, is called a radical expression. And if it contains no transcendental functions or transcendental numbers, it is called an algebraic expression. In calculus, roots are treated as special cases of exponentiation, where the exponent is a fraction. Roots are particularly important in the theory of infinite series. The root test determines the radius of convergence of a power series. Nth roots can also be defined for complex numbers, and the complex roots of one play an important role in higher mathematics. Galois theory can be used to determine which algebraic numbers can be expressed using roots, and to prove the Abel-Ruffini theorem, which states that a general polynomial equation of degree 5 or higher cannot be solved using roots alone. This result is also known as the insolubility of the quintic. Etymology Origin of the root symbol The origin of the root symbol square root is largely speculative. Some sources imply that the symbol was first used by Arab mathematicians. One of those mathematicians was Abu al-Hassan ibn Ali al-Khalaysadi. Legend has it that it was taken from the Arabic letter, which is the first letter in the Arabic word. However, many scholars, including Leonhard Euler, believe it originates from the letter R, the first letter of the Latin word radix, referring to the same mathematical operation. The symbol was first seen in print without the vinculum in the year 1525 in Dicos by Christoph Rudolf, a German mathematician. The Unicode and HTML character codes for the radical symbols are Etymology of Surd The term Surd traces back to al khwarizmi who refer to rational and irrational numbers as audible and inaudible, respectively. This later led to the Arabic word for irrational number being translated into Latin as Surdis. Gerard of Cremona, Fibonacci, and then Robert Recorder all used the term to refer to unresolved irrational roots. History, definition and notation. An nth root of a number x, where n is a positive integer, is any of the n real or complex numbers r whose nth power is x. Every positive real number x has a single positive nth root, called the principal nth root, which is written. For n equal to 2 this is called the principal square root and the n is omitted. 
The nth root can also be represented using exponentiation as x1, n. For even values of n, positive numbers also have a negative nth root, while negative numbers do not have a real nth root. For odd values of n, every negative number x has a real negative nth root. For example, minus 2 has a real fifth root, but minus 2 does not have any real sixth roots. Every non-zero number x, real or complex, has n different complex number nth roots including any positive or negative roots. They are all distinct except in the case of x equals 0, all of whose nth roots equal 0. The nth roots of almost all numbers are irrational. For example, all nth roots of integers are algebraic numbers. Square roots A square root of a number x is a number R which, when squared, becomes x. Every positive real number has two square roots, one positive and one negative. For example, the two square roots of 25 are 5 and minus 5. The positive square root is also known as the principal square root, and is denoted with a radical sign. Since the square of every real number is a positive real number, negative numbers do not have real square roots. However, every negative number has two imaginary square roots. For example, the square roots of minus 25 are 5 i and minus 5 i, where i represents a square root of minus 1. Cube roots a cube root of a number x is a number r whose cube is x. Every real number x has exactly one real cube root, written. For example, every real number has two additional complex cube roots. Identities and properties. Every positive real number has a positive nth root and the rules for operations with such thirds are straightforward. Using the exponent form as in normally makes it easier to cancel out powers and roots. Problems can occur when taking the nth roots of negative or complex numbers. For instance, whereas when taking the principal value of the roots, simplified form of a radical expression, a non-nested radical expression is said to be in simplified form if there is no factor of the radicand that can be written as a power greater than or equal to the index. There are no fractions under the radical sign. There are no radicals in the denominator. For example, to write the radical expression in simplified form, we can proceed as follows. First, look for a perfect square under the square root sign and remove it. Next, there is a fraction under the radical sign, which we change as follows. Finally, we remove the radical from the denominator as follows. When there is a denominator involving thirds it is always possible to find a factor to multiply both numerator and denominator by to simplify the expression. For instance using the factorization of the sum of two cubes. Simplifying radical expressions involving nested radicals can be quite difficult. It is not immediately obvious for instance that the above can be derived through infinite series. The radical or root may be represented by the infinite series. With this expression can be derived from the binomial series. Computing principal roots. The nth root of an integer is not always an integer, and if it is not an integer then it is not a rational number. For instance, the fifth root of 34 is where the dots signify that the decimal expression does not end after any finite number of digits. Since in this example the digits after the decimal never enter a repeating pattern, the number is irrational. nth root algorithm The nth root of a number a can be computed by the nth root algorithm, a special case of Newton's method. Start with an initial guess x0 and then iterate using the recurrence relation until the desired precision is reached. Depending on the application, it may be enough to use only the first Newton approximant. For example, to find the fifth root of 34, note that 25 equals 32 and thus take x equals 2, n equals 5 and y equals 2 in the above formula. This yields the error in the approximation is only about 0.03%.
Newton's method can be modified to produce a generalized continued fraction for the nth root which can be modified in various ways as described in that article. For example, in the case of the fifth root of 34 above, digit-by-digit digit calculation of principal roots of decimal numbers building on the digit-by-digit digit calculation of a square root. It can be seen that the formula used there, or, follows a pattern involving Pascal's triangle. For the nth root of a number is defined as the value of element in row of Pascal's triangle such that, we can rewrite the expression as, for convenience, call the result of this expression. Using this more general expression, any positive, principal root can be computed, digit by digit, as follows. Write the original number in decimal form. The numbers are written similar to the long division algorithm, and, as in long division, the root will be written on the line above. Now separate the digits into groups of digits equating to the root being taken, starting from the decimal point and going both left and right. The decimal point of the root will be above the decimal point of the square. One digit of the root will appear above each group of digits of the original number. Beginning with the leftmost group of digits, do the following procedure for each group. Starting on the left, bring down the most significant group of digits not yet used and write them to the right of the remainder from the previous step. In other words, multiply the remainder by and add the digits from the next group. This will be the current value C. Find P and X, as follows. Let be the part of the root found so far, ignoring any decimal point. Determine the greatest digit such that, place the digit as the next digit of the root, i.e., above the group of digits you just brought down. Thus the next P will be the old P times 10 plus X. Subtract from to form a new remainder. If the remainder is zero and there are no more digits to bring down, then the algorithm has terminated. Otherwise go back to step 1 for another iteration. Examples find the square root of 152.275612. 3, 101 10 22 plus 101 2 11 21 52 less than 101 10 32 plus 101 2 11 31 x equals 2 0 4 4 y equals 101 10 22 plus 101 2 11 21 equals 4 plus 40 equals 4 4 0 8 2 7 1 0 0 1 120 32 plus 101 2 121 31 827 less than 101 120 42 plus 101 2 121 41 x equals 3 07 29 y equals 101 120 32 plus 101 2 121 31 equals 9 plus 720 equals 7 2 9 9 8 5 6 1 0 0 1 12 30 42 plus 101 2 12 31 41 9856 less than 101 12 30 52 plus 101 2 12 31 51 x equals 4 9 8 5 6 y equals 101 12 30 42 plus 101 2 12 31 41 equals 16 plus 9840 equals 9 8 5 6 0 0 algorithm terminates Answer is 12.34 find the cube root of 4192 to the nearest hundredth. 1 6.
101 Plus one hundred and one three oh one twelve plus one hundred and two three oh two eleven equals one plus zero plus zero equals one billion three million one hundred and ninety two thousand one hundred one ten sixty three plus one hundred and one three eleven sixty two plus one hundred and two three twelve sixty one three thousand one hundred and ninety two less than one hundred one ten seventy three plus one hundred and one three eleven seventy two plus plus 102 3 12 71 x equals 6 003096 y equals 101 10 63 plus 101 3 11 62 plus 102 3 12 61 equals 216 plus 1080 plus 1800 equals 3096 096 000 1001 160 13 plus 101 3 161 12 plus 100 Two three one hundred and sixty two eleven ninety six thousand less than one hundred one one hundred and sixty twenty three plus one hundred and one three one hundred and sixty one twenty two plus one hundred and two three one hundred and sixty two twenty one x equals one million seventy seven thousand two hundred and eighty one y equals one hundred one one hundred and sixty thirteen plus one hundred and one three one hundred and sixty one twelve plus one 102 3 162 11 equals 1 plus 480 plus 76800 equals 77281 018 719 000 100 116 10 23 plus 101 3 16 11 22 plus 102 3 16 12 21 18 million 719 thousand less than 100 101 16 10 33 plus 101 3 16 11 32 plus 102 3 16 12 31 x equals 2 billion 15 million 571 thousand 928 y equals 101 16 10 23 plus 101 3 16 11 22 plus 102 3 16 12 21 equals 8 plus 19,320 plus 15 million 552,600 equals 15 million 571,928 0031470072 0001 101 3 16,121 42 plus 102 3 16,122 41 3 billion 147 million 72,000 less than 101 16,120 53 plus 101 3 16,121 52 plus 102 3 16,122 51 x equals equals 4 the desired precision is achieved the cube root of 4192 is about 16.12 logarithmic computation the principal nth root of a positive number can be computed using logarithms starting from the equation that defines r as an nth root of x namely with x positive and therefore its principal root r also positive one takes logarithms of both sides to obtain the root r is recovered from this by taking the anti-log for the case in which x is negative and n is odd there is one real root r which is also negative geometric constructability the ancient Greek mathematicians knew how to use compass and straight edge to construct a length equal to the square root of a given length. In 1837 Pierre Wonsel proved that an nth root of a given length cannot be constructed if n greater than 2. Complex Roots Every complex number other than 0 has n different nth roots. 
square roots The two square roots of a complex number are always negatives of each other. For example, the square roots of minus 4 are 2i and minus 2i, and the square roots of i are if we express a complex number in polar form. Then the square root can be obtained by taking the square root of the radius and halving the angle. A principal root of a complex number may be chosen in various ways. For example, which introduces a branch cut in the complex plane along the positive real axis with the condition 0 theta less than 2 pi, or along the negative real axis with minus pi less than theta pi. Using the first branch cut, the principal square root maps to the half plane with non negative imaginary part. The last branch cut is presupposed in mathematical software like MATLAB or Scilab. Roots of unity The number 1 has n different mth roots in the complex plane, namely where these roots are evenly spaced around the unit circle in the complex plane, at angles which are multiples of, for example, the square roots of unity are 1 and minus 1, and the fourth roots of unity are 1, minus 1, and nth roots Every complex number has n different nth roots in the complex plane. These are where eta is a single n th root, and 1, omega, omega 2, omega n minus 1 are the n th roots of unity. For example, the four different fourth roots of 2 are in polar form. A single n th root may be found by the formula here r is the magnitude of the number whose root is to be taken. If the number can be written as a plus by, then, also, is the angle formed as one pivots on the origin counterclockwise from the positive horizontal axis to a ray going from the origin to the number, it has the properties that and thus finding nth roots in the complex plane can be segmented into two steps. First, the magnitude of all the nth roots is the nth root of the magnitude of the original number. Second, the angle between the positive horizontal axis and array from the origin to one of the nth roots is, where is the angle defined in the same way for the number whose root is being taken. Furthermore, all n of the nth roots are at equally spaced angles from each other. If n is even, a complex number's nth roots, of which there are an even number, come in additive inverse pairs. So that if a number r1 is one of the nth roots then r2 equals r1 is another. This is because raising the latter's coefficient minus 1 to the nth power for even n yields 1. That is, n equals n times r1 n equals r1 n. As with square roots, the formula above does not define a continuous function over the entire complex plane, but instead has a branch cut at points where theta n is discontinuous. Solving polynomials It was once conjectured that all polynomial equations could be solved algebraically. However, while this is true for third-degree polynomials and fourth-degree polynomials, the Abel-Ruffini theorem shows that this is not true in general when the degree is 5 or greater. For example, the solutions of the equation cannot be expressed in terms of radicals.